In this video, this is part of our triangle congruence standard, and in this video we're going to explore what additional information you would need in order to prove that two triangles are congruent when you have certain pieces of information already. So we're going to explore side side side, side angle side, angle angle side, angle side angle, and hypotenuse leg. Those are our congruence theorems. So state what additional information is required in order to know that the triangles are congruent for the reason given. So pictured here I have angle side I want angle side angle. I have two triangles. So angle side angle requires an angle, a side, and an angle. So we already have labeled on this these two triangles a set of angles that are congruent. Angle I is congruent to angle L. Then we have also a side that is already labeled. Side IJ is congruent to ML. Okay. So now all we need is another angle. However, it's critical that we pick the right one because we want the side to be an included side, so that it has to be between the two angles. So in order for that to happen, we would need angle J is congruent to angle M, and that way it would be an included side because we want angle side angle, and now that, that, now that will work. So that would be the additional information we would need, would be this right here. That angle J would be congruent to angle M. So we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to explore side, angle, side. And we have these two triangles, so we need side, we need an angle, and we need a side. So the first thing that we have here is we already have a side. We have TU is congruent to QP, as labeled by our hash marks. Then we already have an angle. We have angle T is congruent to angle Q. Now we just need a side, but the angle is an included angle, so it must be in between the two sides. So I'm going to mark side TS and side QR. Now our angle is in the middle of the two sides. It's the included side, so we'd have a side angle side. So TS being congruent to QR is what our answer would be what additional information we would need. Next we have side 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 so we need three sides three pairs so we have our first pair DE is congruent to TU because they have both have one hash mark and then we have FE is congruent to TS so now we just need another set of sides that are congruent so we have we would say those that side would be congruent to this side. I'm going to use three hash marks there. So our additional information we would need would be that side FD is congruent to US. And then we'd have side, side, side. Next we're going to look at angle, angle side. Okay, we already have an angle even though it's not labeled. That would be our vertical angle. JIH is congruent to MIK. And then we already have a side. IJ is congruent to IM. But we need another angle, but the side cannot be included. It's not included. So it would have to be, in order for that to happen, it would have to be angle H is congruent to angle K. That way the side is not included. So the additional information we would need would be this right here. Angle H is congruent to angle K. Now we have hypotenuse leg, which is my final example, example in this video. So we need an hypotenuse and we need a leg. As you notice, we have a right triangle, so that's actually our first part. So we have that. And then we have this middle side that is equal to itself. So we have UV is congruent to VU because it's the same side. So that's actually the leg. And so now we need the hypotenuse. 
So the hypotenuse of this first triangle would be WV, and the hypotenuse of the second triangle would be UM. So that would be the additional information you would need. And that is honestly all there is to it, to doing these problems.